today's lesson is going to be on solving equations that have variables or letters on both sides. You are going to need your spiral notebook, and you're going to need to know these two key terms, and I've used these terms in the other algebra videos as well. Um, for instance, like terms, remember those are terms that are exactly the same. The same variables, the same plain numbers, those can be put together. And then the word inverse. Inverse, of course, means opposite. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to, and then come on back and we'll continue on. All right, take a look at this first example here. Do you notice how there's an M on the left and an M on the right? Remember the hands-on equations that we were doing in class? That's the same as having those pawns on the left and the pawns on the right. Remember how in the hands-on equations we move them together to be on the same side of the equal sign? Same thing here. We're going to move the 4m to go on the other side of the equal sign. We want to put those m values together. Those are like terms. So the opposite of positive 4m, let's do the inverse, negative 4m. Every time you cross the equal sign, you're going to do the inverse. So we've got 6m minus 4m, and now this is just like those one-step <coughs> equations. 2 times what equals 12? Well, the opposite of timesing is dividing. m equals 6. Now we can check our answer by putting that, et, that 6 back up into the problem. 6 times 6, does that equal 4 times 6 plus 12? 6 times 6 is 36. 4 times 6 is 24, plus 12 more. 24 plus 12. Is that 36? It sure is. Here are the steps. Notice the first thing is to put together terms that are on the same side of the equal sign. For this particular problem, we didn't need to do that. We have an M and a plain number. We can't put those together. So we go right to step two and move across the equal sign, putting like terms together. Make sure you have all three of these steps written down. You can, of course, write them in your own words or put an example with it. And then go ahead and try this example down here at the bottom. 5N equals 3n plus 26. Give it a try and see how you do and then come on back and we'll go over it together. All right, were you able to work that out all by yourself? You want to put the ends on the same side of the equal sign. You want to put them together. So we want to move this end to the other side. If you have 3n, we want to go to the other side of the equal sign. We have to do the inverse so we're going to subtract 3n. You can also think of it as this was a positive 3. We're going to go a negative 3. So we've got 2n's left and 26. 2 times what equals 26? Well, if you don't want to do guess and check, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. n equals 13. And of course, you can check your answer by putting the 13 back up where the ends are, and check to see if they equal each other. Take a look at this example. This one has fractions. I know fractions can sound scary, but you can do it. The steps are the same. You're going to move this term to the other side. Now, this is a positive 4 ninths. To go to the other side, we have to do the opposite. So we have a negative 4 ninths. Push it to the other side. 5 ninths minus 4 ninths equals 1 ninth. Now, what is, this is dividing by 9, right? So what's the opposite? Timesing by 9. Times by 9 on both sides. All right, go ahead and jot down this example here. And then pause the video and come on back and we'll go over it together. All right. Let's see how you did. Did you subtract 3 fifths from both sides? 4 fifths minus 3 fifths is 1 fifth. And now what's the opposite of dividing by 5? That's right, timesing by 5. So 4 times 5 is 20. Take a look at this example. This one has one extra step. Look, I've got y's on both sides and plain numbers on both sides. We want to put the y's together and we want to put the plain numbers together. So I'm going to take my 4y and move it to the other side by doing the opposite. And then I'm going to take my 8 and put it with my 16 by doing the opposite. 
Every time you cross the equal sign, you need to do the opposite. So what do you get? Negative 6y plus 24. Negative 6 times what equals 24? If you're not sure, you can always do the inverse again. This is definitely a multi-step problem. Remember, every time you work across the equal sign, you do the opposite. So pause the video and make sure you understand each of the steps. One, two, three. Make sure you understand all three steps. And once you've got that down pat, jot this example down and try it on your own. And then we'll go over it together. Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, let's go over that last example together. We want to put the y's together, and we want to put the plain numbers together. So to move the y to the other side, we need to do the opposite. So what's the opposite of negative 2? Positive 2y. So let's move the y's together. Do you see how these go away because they're opposites? Every time you do opposites, they go away. All right, now let's put the plain numbers together. Okay, let's move the 9 over here with the 12. What's the opposite of adding 9? Subtracting 9. Negative 12 plus negative 9? Negative 21. Last step, 7 times what will give you negative 21? If you can't figure that out, you can always do the inverse. The opposite of timesing by 7? That's right, divide by 7. Oops. y equals what's negative 21 divided by 3 well 21 divided by 3 and the signs are different so it's negative remember there's three steps to these types of problems put the variables together put the plain numbers together and then solve for whatever letter you have we'll do some more practice problems in class and also we'll do some more hands-on activities See you soon.